three. Are we going? Three from three with our boy. How's, how you feeling, man? All on a day's work. Yeah, no, it's been good. It's been a good weekend. It's been busy. Um, the whole team did really well, so yeah, I'm stoked with that. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to having a few days off. <laughs> Back in there with Brendan again. He um, Did he put up more of a fight than last time? How did you find it going up against him again? Yeah, he's always hard work, but um, uh, I've I've kind of... Um, I, did, I did less to, to gain more from, from my fight with him yesterday. Um, my fight today with Austin was uh, a totally different kind of challenge, but... Um, uh, I, we put a, game, a very brief game plan together and it, it, it seemed to pay off. We've got a, uh, a sort of a one-size-fits-all for um, unorthodox uh, southpaw fighters so, um, and it seems to be paying off um, against, against the top-level guys. So that was a good fight. Um, and yeah, yeah, I'm just looking for a rest. Looking at that fight too, first uh, round... You guys were sort of sort of feeling each other. It looked like you started stepping out the gears round two, three, but he still didn't seem to go down. He's got a hard head on with that Austin, doesn't he? Yeah, he's tough. He's tough. Um, I didn't I didn't want to take any unnecessary risks. It's been a long weekend, and um, uh, a lot of people think that fighting day after day isn't healthy, and it probably isn't. But um, uh, our job is to look after ourselves, and um, I didn't feel the need to put any more pressure on my guy just because uh, it has been a long weekend and um, concussions a real thing. Um, and I don't want to be on the receiving end, so yeah, it was it was a good um, a good a good weekend all t- all round, um, and I think the New Zealand team's done themselves really proud. We've got a couple more fights coming here soon here in New Zealand, quite big ones in fact. We've got uh, David the Great White Light fighting Bam Bam Flanagan uh, here in about four weeks' time. What are your thoughts on that? Because I know you you've done a bit of sparring with him in the past, and what are your thoughts on him going for that title? That's a that's a wicked opportunity for him. I'm really happy for him. Um, uh, I think bringing it to our turf is, a, is an awesome option and to bring it to the ABA is even cooler. Um, uh, I, I'm really looking forward to having more, more competitions at the ABA and building a, um, a following up in Auckland because um, that's how our sport's going to grow and um, uh, the, the fact that they're looking at putting on some, uh, some amateur belts before, before his uh, main, event, main event fight is, is an awesome opportunity for us. Um, if if it works out, I'd love to be on the card. But um, if there's if if it doesn't tie in with my campaign, I'll look at something else. But um, it's gonna be a really busy year. It turns out uh, I think there's uh, Olympic qualifying after World Champs this year, so um, we're gonna have to save a little bit left in the tank for for the the business end of the year. We've been talking to a few fighters around the scene here today. Obviously, the World Champs coming up, Tokyo 2020. That's that's the goal. That's the plan. Yeah, it's just around the corner now. It's um it's gonna come around real quick. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm in a good place right now and it was great to have a good weekend of fighting. Um, three, three bouts, three wins um, and no niggles. So it's, it's, been, a, it's been a rocky last uh, 12 months or so just with, just with the, um, the, the, the body. Like I've, I've had to have a few, a few setbacks, but um, that's, the way, that's the way the sport is and everyone's got their own, um, their own adversities they have, to, they have to overcome. So yeah. Considering you've gone three and three, three in the bag, three wins, looking great, mate. You look great out there all weekend and uh, we look forward to following your career this year yeah cheers there. thank you and um say again oh sorry yeah um i appreciate you guys coming out come down and doing the doing the filming and stuff because we uh often forget to film ourselves and um it's great that great what you guys are doing for the sport so i appreciate it cheers thank you oh and finally um we do have wbo world heavyweight champ uh, for the females here in a couple of weeks time Marnie daniels uh giovanna Perez. What are your thoughts on that? One, having that WBO world title here, but also for women's boxing. Yeah, it's a great opportunity, and I think it's probably the first of first of its kind here in New Zealand. Um, I went and watched the open workout, which was pretty cool, and to have to have um, a woman's belt as the main card is, is a, another great a great opportunity for, for boxing in general. Um, and my prediction, I don't know either of them well enough, but uh, from what I've seen, I like what uh, Lani Daniels does. Um, but then again. Um, uh, Giovanni, Giovanni, is it? Uh, Giovanna, yeah, she's 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 a, a bit of a mauler, so yeah, it could go either way. Yeah, d- d- yeah, depends what um depends how they're doing on the day. I think it's going to come down to um, who's uh, psychologically, who's ready, who's mentally mentally fitter. Well put, well said. Hey, and um, like I said, rest up. Look forward to seeing you next one, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.